Hi everyone, Marie Manu Cherry here. Today I wanted to talk to you about how can you tell when the universe is communicating with you? This is a common question I receive through clients and students. And most of the time when I'm asked that question, the person's really frustrated. They've been meditating, reading books, watching videos, doing everything they can to actually hear, see, or feel the universe. And they're, they have questions that they really need answers for. And they're, again, frustrated because nothing seems to be coming through. It would be important to understand that the universe, which is where your answers are coming from, you can look at it in terms of, is it creation, the universe, God? I, I use those words interchangeably. Is it your spirit guides? Is it departed loved ones? It could be any of those beings really communicating with you because they all, just like yourself and every being that exists, emanate from the, the spirit realm where we're all one. When you look at the sixth layer of the auric field, there's a phrase on it. You know, you have this beautiful aura that completely surrounds you. It's divided into seven layers for the human reality. And the sixth layer has the phrase, we are all one. Meaning that we're all one, you know, creation, God, you, me, your siblings, your spirit guides, we're all one. We, we all have a divine and beautiful connection. So when you're asking questions, you could get answers delivered to you from any of those representatives of the divine, so to speak. The interesting thing about it, and the reason why I think most people have a hard time discerning that they're getting a message, or even knowing when to listen, or when to notice that something is um, something visual is actually trying to gain their attention, or a feeling sense is coming over them that would be a, a reply to the question they have is because the universe is extremely kind and compassionate, very, very loving. Most people don't have loving or kind thoughts rotating through their brain throughout the day. Most people are highly critical, judgmental, unhappy. I mean, they may not really be those things, but they're allowing themselves to feel those things and think those things and mull over those things. The majority of people who think they're unhappy are actually very, very happy people deep inside, but they don't feel their real emotions. So how would they know what they're really feeling? They have no clue what they're really feeling. I will tell you when I began to communicate with the universe, when I began to hear, see, and feel the multisensory world, I was so overwhelmed by the generosity, the love, and the kindness that just emanated from them. I wept. I probably wept for months. I mean, still, there are times when they say the most loving and kind, surprising, it's so surprising to be spoken to that way, to feel that way, to, to have visions of experiences like, like that. It's, it's still so foreign to the human reality. That's just not how we operate overall in, um, in, on earth, people are not very kind to each other. They're not very nice to each other. They're certainly not super loving, especially to a complete stranger. And that's what it feels like when you start to communicate with the multisensory world. You know, you don't really know them. Maybe you can't see them. Maybe you can't hear them, but you, they are communicating with you and their communication will be loving and kind, extremely positive and very optimistic because that is the truth of who you are and what you deserve and what you can manifest and what you can create. I'm not saying they're gonna lie to you. There's no lying going on whatsoever. But the messages that come across are so loving. I think most people don't have their energy up high enough to get close to the experience that the universe is emanating to an individual, maybe you, as you're listening to this video. Self-worth and the whole idea of, of deserving, um, being worthy and deserving is a foreign concept to individuals. People don't believe that about themselves. They believe they have to work very hard for life, love, joy. You know, there has to be a tremendous output in order to get the smallest amount of in intake that we really, really want. But that's not true. That's just a false belief generated by the ego. I think spending time valuing and appreciating yourself for no good reason, just because, or if you did something recently that you're really disappointed about and it makes you super unhappy, please be kind to yourself. Today I was on the radio with Benny, he's the audio engineer on the show that I do where energy and medicine meet, and he, we banter on the show, we have a great um, 
chemistry and have had a lot of fun. We've been hanging out together on the radio for quite a while. And he shared that he accidentally killed his lawn this past weekend. And he was really mad at himself, you know. And I, I thought, well, this is a great opportunity for Benny when he's looking out at the grass, which I think he'll be looking at for a little while. And it's all brown and dried up because he killed it. Um, for him to go to say to himself, Benny, I love you. I love you. You're a great man. I'm proud of you. While he's looking at something that he's not happy regarding a choice that he made. If everyone could do that, if you could pick those moments in your life where you think you really messed up and you don't deserve any kindness and you're kind of kicking yourself in the back end, that would be the moment to pour on the self-love. That's going to elevate your frequency. It's, that information is going to go right into your subconscious mind because your subconscious mind is going to go, well, wait a minute, we don't do that. We don't do that. We we could, we have to go and time out. We're in trouble. You know, we, we can't have a wonderful life right now. We've got to berate ourselves for a while. And these two opposite feelings cannot coexist. So if you can spend a few days, a couple weeks, appreciating and valuing something that you think you did that is terrible, even if, you know, a court might even think that it's terrible. I would love for you to be kind and loving to yourself. This is going to increase your vibration, get it to go at a higher level. Everything you want in life exists in a high frequency. All the things you don't want in life exist in a low vibration. So we want your energy elevated first and foremost for your happiness and um, for you to attract and manifest things that you truly desire, but to also hear, see, or feel the multisensory world. It's Life is so much easier when you can feel, hear, or see. You don't have to do all of them. Just one is enough. Um, but as you progress on your ability to love yourself and to be open to hearing the divine cherishing you and adoring you for no good reason, you are going to open yourself up to be a communicator with your higher self that has all the answers to anything you could possibly imagine. So try that uh, homework trick and see if you notice that you're getting clear messages from the divine because the divine is not, uh, it's not complicated. It's just that your energy is not there. And the love that you feel, that'll be the other sign that you're doing a great job at this. It will probably make you weep to feel so adored and so cherished and so beloved as each of us truly are by an unseen force that is unconditional genius in its awareness and consciousness and extremely understanding and forgiving. That in itself, just to have those experiences to, and to feel that way, <gasps> magical. I hope you have a lovely day.